Yo, 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 what up, my beautiful daddies? How's everyone doing today? I'm Yo's Fowl, and let's talk about Kogma. I think um, the spot he is in right now in the PBE is actually, like, very good. Um, I think Kogma, as a one cost, is a very interesting unit. Because um, not only does he have uh, three traits, he has... On top of the traits, they're very interesting for his kit, you know? He has the Invoker trait... Uh, which gives him more mana to cast. He has the sniper trait, which um, is a very interesting combo to get a sniper unit around mana, in my opinion. And he, of course, has the mythic uh, trait, which uh, I think in general is one of the most more interesting um, traits overall for this set. I think it's a very cool mechanic. It's kind of like a scaling or you have to wait a little bit before they pop off right now i always like kind of the high reward high investment um compositions or units in general right and kogma's criteria works perfectly with all of these combined right um we can clearly see in the early stages he's actually a very good item holder as well but what i wanted to talk about mainly this video is actually his carry potential don't forget to like and subscribe Because I do feel like, um, as of right now, I think he's one of the more balanced units in the game. Uh, as of the live PvE servers, are going to change a lot of stuff still, of course. So they might tweak him. But I actually think he doesn't need any tweaking. Maybe one of his traits need tweaking. But I think overall, it is a pretty decent, stable comp right now. Um, and that's what I want with TFT. I think TFT is a very... Um, skill-based game of course and I like TFT the most when you're the maestro playing the game and I feel like there's some patches where you're like yeah this unit is just too strong and it has nothing to do with skill anymore right and I, I really hope the new set 11 will just have patches where we don't necessarily have like oh I'm not going to play this patch. This and this is broken again. And if I just play against it, then my fun is gone, right? So I think the overall state of the game is pretty good in the PvE. But Kogma is such a, like, perfect uh, unit for me. And I think um, his just item holding capabilities and his carry potential are very, very good. His flexibility is also kind of nice, right? Because you can also... Uh, there's different ways because of the three... Uh, the three traits if you want to go mythic route you just want to make go make a seven mythic boy you just put him in or you can go reroll kogma you can uh, make him the carry um you can go sniper you can make him uh, the sniper i would necessarily not make him carry i think ash is like a bit better carry for sniper i would just um but he's still like he does kind of does his job um as a one cost throughout the whole game, whatever you want him to be the carry or the item holder, right? And Mythic is just very interesting overall. I think Mythic is... Mm, it suits him. Um, it makes him balanced, as in... Okay, the early stages, if you get a very early three-star Kogma and he's going off, right? And then in the later stages, because you have Mythic, he actually gets these bonuses and these stats again to actually fight against the four costs and the five costs. And I think that makes him a very interesting unit. And they did this in the past before where a lot of units like Kale before, right? She's like an ascended unit that starts slow and then throughout the game she starts to ramp up and really carry. And I think Kogma, for some reason, does this better than any other unit before because I feel like they are very, very hard to balance. They're very OP very quickly. And Kogma just seems to impress me. He doesn't feel strong, uh, as in he doesn't feel broken. Strong is a good word, actually, for what he is. He's strong. He does his job, but he's not broken. In every stage of the game, I feel like he's a worthy opponent or a worthy uh, unit to grab and I, th I think I really like that um, and in a lot of ways um, there's f he's very flexible because of the three traits right um, uh, he's very good with items as well I think you can do blue buff and spear of sojin on him um, one thing that I figured out from playing a few sets I don't think rage blade is kind of not a suit I do think he's a caster sniper so you do want to go um, Jewel Gauntlet, uh, Blue Buff, Spear of Sojin, Giant Slayer, um, 
stuff like that, right? Red buff, maybe it worked for me at least. Uh, red buff, I just not maybe the most ideal items, but it did work for me. Um, yeah, and I, I think it's very, very fun to see that. Uh, I always like the one cost reroll uh, comps. I do think um, you need to have an opportunity for that. Still, it's TFT, right? If you're just gonna hard force Kogma, I don't think it's gonna go well. I do think you need an opportunity if you wanna go Kogma carry, yeah. We got a lot of one costs, uh, Kog'Maw's early on, before stage three, or maybe in the beginning of stage three, you have a Kog'Maw three already, then you can look, all right, you know, I, I, I can actually make this uh, game work with Kog'Maw. Um, I think in general, a lot of lower ELO people might consider just hard forcing this specific comp or, or unit, but sometimes you have to play what the game gives you. And for me, when I had a game where Kog'Maw was given to me, I felt like he was perfect. Uh, I did not feel like changing anything. I feel like I, I can use this unit, I can reroll him and uh, play Mythic with it, you know? And I like to play Kogma with one sniper. I don't like to go six or four or whatever. I just play seven Mythic and then one sniper and then some invokers, maybe four or two, depending on what the game gives you, right? Um, and I think that went very, very well. Uh, I, I really like how flexible he is in that sense as well. And on top of that, if you do pick up a two-star Kogma and it's like, nah, actually, <laughs> I'm uh, okay. I'm not getting enough. I can't uh, force reroll here. I'm going to go eighth. Then you just item holder. I, like, he's a phenomenal item holder. And I think a lot of people might be not considering that. But it is uh, a very strong item holder. Um, stage 2, he does seem to do his job. I like his ability a lot where he gets the attack range, right? And he just, he just, um, he casts a lot. He's a very good caster. Uh, I tried Rageblade plus, like, attack speed items in the Nash's Tooth and stuff. And I feel like that's underwhelming. I'm not saying it doesn't work, especially as an item holder. I feel like Rageblade plus Runans or something... Could work. Uh, it's not the worst, but I do prefer other units like Sivir maybe to do that then as an item holder for more of the Rage Blade Runans. But do, if you have like a uh, Spirit Sojourn plus Rage Blade, as an item holder, he does the, he could do his job, right? But I do think the Rage Blade is kind of a bait on him. He does seem to like, okay, the more I attack, the more he casts, but he doesn't really do that. He mostly just wants to cast with a mana item and he doesn't really ramp up the attack speed because of that. His cast time is uh, relatively... Uh, long, you know, so the Rage Blade doesn't really get um, the opportunity to actually full on stack for a tech speed carry, right? So that's why he's a caster carry. And as an item holder, yet again, it is okay, but you know, I, I do think, especially the AP items are very, very good on him. Um, I think, do think overall this comp um, mythic is very interesting. I really like Cho'Gath as well. Uh, I think Cho'Gath was a phenomenal unit. Uh, over all the sets, always very fun what they did with him. Of course, the stacking one with the HP, but now he, he uh, he's completely different, but still a very, very reliable tank in my opinion. His three-star version is also pretty good. So if you do decide to go for Kog'Maw reroll, hey, pick up this Cho'Gath with it. And Cho'Gath, uh, Behemoth, pretty good front line. You know, you just go uh, Cho'Gath, Kog'Maw reroll, and you're good to go for the game. And uh, I really like that. I, I really hope they also go for... Um, more everything works, right? If the one cost rerolls are very good, but if you don't really have the one cost, you can go maybe for three cost or two cost reroll, or you can just push levels and go for the four cost, two cost, uh, two star um, spike, right? And I do think that's also very nice with Kog'Maw because you can play around Lilia. And I do think Kog'Maw brings a lot to the table. Uh, Kog'Maw is very, very flexible. I love to see you can play around Nautilus and Lilia late game and you just use Kog'Maw as an item holder. Uh, what we talked about before. And it just shows uh, how good this unit is. And somehow, it doesn't seem broken to me. Um, there's a lot of chance... Like, you also will probably lose some rounds if the scenarios are a little bit off. Um, sometimes I do feel like maybe... You can 100 streak. As in, you can uh, for sure like 12 streak. But I do sometimes it's like, ooh, this moment Kogma really fell off because maybe there's a enemy unit that like dashes too much and he misses, misses some stuff but then it's just waiting and then he starts stacking and then when he starts stacking you get more items and then later on he's again just he's gonna one shot the back line with his uh with his thing right with his uh with his casting the whole time and it, it goes pretty fast like um blue buff and spear of sojourn his cast time is actually pretty good so yeah and 
hey, if you do not decide to go for Lilia, then another AP unit like Syndra, Kog'Ma can item hold for a lot of units. So I do think, um, don't sleep on his reroll. Reroll is actually, I was baffled on how good that actually was. And I really, uh, uh, I really, it's PBE, right? So just try it out. Uh, if you haven't tried reroll Kog'Ma yet, do it. Don't play around the, the Rage Blade, but make sure to pick up some uh, mana items. And if you get a lot of Kog'Maw's, then do it. I do. I wouldn't recommend forcing it, but hey, if you do get an early Kog'Maw too, then just, um, yeah, item hold, and he does his job as well until you want to get rid of him again. Hey, um, I hope everyone uh, learned something. I, I really like to speculate with you guys, so let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Kog'Maw. If you use him already, if you think he's broken, if you think he's underwhelming, if he's normal, if he's good, he does his job like me. Um, let me know what you guys think about this set so far. I'm very excited to uh, see how the release is going to be, how if they're actually going to tweak some some units. I do think overall this set is pretty balanced right now. Let me know uh, in the comments down below what you guys also think about the unbalanced stuff. You know, hey, there's a lot to talk about. TFT is a very, very big game. Hey, make sure to like and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a 1,000 subscribers. It means the world to me if you could. I love you all and have a wonderful day. Take care. Peace.